You're watching Live at Spectrum. Tonight, Jade Empress. And Baby and the Kicks. Please welcome your hosts, Brett Glover and Mel Pollard. Welcome to Live at Spectrum. Uh, pretty exciting times here. After four years, this is episode 33, showcasing Gippsland bands. And uh, on a sad note, this is actually our last episode tonight in the Live at Spectrum studios here in Sherelgan. And this very special audience gets to be a part of that. How are you tonight, guys? They've come alive and they are really working up our very special host over here. Please welcome Mel Pollard. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Hi, Brett. What's going on? Oh, heaps. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a good couple of years together hosting this show. We've had we some, have. We've had some very good times. I don't think we've had any bad times. It's no, just, not at all. Just all been up. Have you got any uh, special memories from the last two years? Oh, way to too put you many. On the spot? Way too many. Way too many. <laughs> Hey, now, last episode, I know it bombed, but I told you a story about the hard rubbish collection. Yeah. I had that mixing desk I've been wanting to throw it for five years, and I finally had the gall to put it on, and then this ute came around the corner. Like, it must have been like the guy had been waiting there for five years. He came around when I was halfway at the house, and he picked him up. But what I didn't tell you is I actually threw out two mixing de desks that day because there was another one that was a mate of mine, Louis, and I took a photo of it, and I sent it to Louis, and I said, do you want this back, or should I just put on a hard rubbish? And he said, yeah, mate, just chuck it. So I chucked that out as well, and then the ute guy got that. But then a few weeks later, Mel, this is going somewhere, I <laughs> had, a, had a gig with my mate Macca, and I didn't have a mixing desk, and I said, I've got to chase one up. And he said, no worries, Brett, just use mine. And I said, what have you got? And he goes, I've got a nice little Behringer. It's at your house. <laughs> it wasn't Louis' Behringer mixer at all. <laughs> so I got back to Louis and said, why would you tell me to chuck it? And he said, I didn't, it's not mine. You just asked if I should, you should chuck it out. And I said, yes. <laughs> so thanks, Lou. <laughs> so I told you, that was, was a, good a good story, story. wasn't it? That was a good story. Last week was a bad story. <laughs> now, uh, big night last night for Live at Spectrum with the uh, Community TV Awards for Australia. Our uh, Channel 31 in Melbourne, Channel 44 in Adelaide, who have been great supporters of this show over the last four years. Uh, we were nominated in two categories, Mel. Very good. Can you tell us what they are? Yes, I could, <laughs> but I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> okay, that was the best music program. And uh, we'd like to congratulate The Song Room, which actually won in that category. It's a fantastic show. You should watch it after you watch this one. And also, we, uh, we were in for Best Sound. Brett Tibbet, well done in your nomination. For, he's a great sound guy and does it uh, month in, month out. Let's give him a round of applause. Because <laughs> yeah. just to be nominated is fantastic. Okay, Mel, uh, well, let's go. On tonight's show, this is the last ap opportunity for you to get in contact. Well, we, uh, we do have the grand finale, finale last uh, next week. I'm losing it. Please take over. How do we get in contact tonight, Mel? Well, look, um, we, you can, you can uh, text us on the phone if you've got one handy. Uh, 04 <laughs> 11 Or, you know, Facebook and all that. Why not? Get on it. Well, I don't know. What do you want to do tonight? What do you reckon? Favourite Live at Spectrum memories? What do you reckon? I, I think we should be doing tryouts for the grand finale. If you'd like to, uh, if you've got a band, because we don't know who's playing <laughs> the grand finale <laughs> next episode. It's at West Gippsland Arts Centre. Tickets are available to see. We don't know. So if you've got a band, just get in touch tonight. Actually, you know what? I, this is completely off, you know, I'm just pulling this out of my pants at the moment. But <laughs> you know what I'd really like to see just once? And I, it's too late now, but you in double denim with a yeah. mohawk and a shaggy beard. Just once. No problem. You're looking very dapper, though, I must say. Give me something yeah. to do this month. Thanks very yeah. much. No yeah, problem. Cool. We can do that. We've Love got a it. great episode for you tonight. <laughs> Baby and the Kicks are in the studio. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're going to be speaking to Michael Waugh, really great uh, friend of the show over the last four years. He was going to be here tonight, in fact, but uh, he is out on the promotion trail. So we'll catch up with him tonight via phone. <laughs> so that one works, Mel. We love technology here on the show. Uh, but to kick off the final studio episode of Live at Spectrum tonight, the dulcet tones, please welcome Jade Empress. <laughs> We've got a few songs for you tonight, but first of all, I just thought I'd let you know you didn't notice that you're coming on a journey with us. It's a very uh, specific journey where you're all going to fall in love and get your hearts utterly broken, probably feel a bit down for a song, and then realise that somebody 
is missing out on you and it's in no way autobiographical. Uh, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> so this first song is called Burn Me and it's a song that I wrote when I was, um, I was singing with an electronic pop band called Echo City um, and I actually really enjoyed playing the live arrangements. Um, so we're going to start off with that. This is the part where you all fall in love. <laughs> called Haunted House and this is the part where your hearts are going to be a bit broken. The amazing George O'Connor is going to take the vocals on this one. Um, this is that part where, you know, you're just stuck in the memories of everything and you feel like everything else is moving on around you and you're the one that's kind of still stuck in the past. 
Take it away, George. Some feelings like you catch a cold. I'm trying to learn how to let go, but all these thoughts are still stuck in my throat. But I hear you, though you think I don't. Making love with him to the songs I wrote And I can't touch what I want most It's a haunted house, but I'm a ghost in love with you, man. That was nice. You got the hair, you got the whole thing going on, man. Really George nice. has, um, George's brothers don't even know he can sing. Really? Are they watching tonight? 
I don't know, maybe. <laughs> How do they not know? I don't know. I'll ask George later, I guess. I only learned to sing quite recently. There was a, there was a, a far lower quality back, in, <laughs> back when they were listening to me. Apparently, I'm working real hard. So. That's cool. Well, well done. Oh, that, that, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt because you're taking us on a journey at the minute. Oh, that's okay. And we're halfway through the journey. And you all right, audience? Yeah. Yes. I can hear a few sobbing in there. Oh, that's okay. That'll be all right. But we're on, we're on the way up. We're the on the way side. up. There's an up. There's always an up. <laughs> So I can't wait. Oh, I've recently written... This is JG, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, I should say. Hi. You're, you're, make <laughs> you feel welcome. Oh, <laughs> mate. I'll get you to introduce the members of your band, too. We met George. Sure. And behind us, we have Ryan Perillo. He's a sail boy, so another Gippslander. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, George is from Warrnambool, so... Or Mortlake, so, you know... Not as not as good as Gippsland. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's like the uh, the Wellington Shire of the of the West. Yeah. What do they got? The Twelve Apostles. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. We got a complete swing bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. It's awesome. So Mafra is your your beginnings. Yeah. So Mafra High was where I went to high school, but I'm from Seaton. Yeah. Right. Eh? Um. And actually, this street that we're in now is only a, a couple of hundred meters away from where I used to learn guitar in Cherogan when I was. At high school. Oh, cool. Who yeah. are you learning off? Yeah. Andrew Kipriotis. Ah, yes. Yeah. Good good memories there? Yeah, he was amazing. Was, were you part of your music program when you were in, in, at MAFRA? Did they have a music uh, program when you were there? They, they did, but the year that I was in, everyone was much more sporty and there actually were very few people who played instruments. So I was part of the musicals and everything like that, but the music program wasn't huge. Were you one was... of the leads in your musical? Or um, were you a I tree? I was in the band. <laughs> I think yeah. I was in the band, yeah. 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 Were you playing guitar then, or were you? Yeah, guitar. Has it always been your instrument? Yeah. yeah mostly that and singing, but yeah, guitar. <laughs> this is taking you on a fair bit of a journey because you've taken your your musical talents overseas as well. Yeah, yeah, I have. I was um I was on and off in um, Los Angeles for the past couple of years, um, mostly doing songwriting. So it's actually been a really long time since I've performed. So, I mean, this year we just got back into it um, in January this year. And, um, but prior to that, it was just sitting at a computer in a dark room writing yeah. lyrics. <laughs> and that was as Echo City. Yeah. Were you working yeah. predominantly on your own or with other producers? Um, so for the Echo City project, it was, um, it was we were a duet yeah. um, and it was the two of us. But I was also writing, just trying to freelance songwriting yeah. as well. So I was doing top lining and writing for other people and things like that as well. So you've, you've obviously enjoyed that process. Yeah, I love it. What's drawn you back to playing live again? Um, I just, I really enjoy it. And I really, there's, it's really great playing with other people. It's just, I don't know, there's nothing quite like it. So I think that's probably it. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it, it sounds fantastic. You've been travelling a bit around Gippsland playing as well. I've noticed you yeah, were down yeah. south Gippsland not long ago. Yeah. At a place yeah. called Archie's Couch. Archie's Couch. I think you were there. I'm pretty sure God, you were. I was in South Gippsland, but I don't know if I was at Archie's Couch. Oh, maybe couch. it was somewhere else. <laughs> what is Archie's Couch? Research! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm sure it's... Uh, we'll talk okay. about it later. And you were live at the Bundy, you were there. Yes, I was definitely live at the Bundy. Yeah, that was well, amazing. I, I go to most of those live at the Bundy shows, but I, miss, I missed that one. I had a mate sending me videos all night. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, it was amazing. Yeah, tell us a little bit. What, what, what made it a good gig for you? What makes a good gig? Um... I think um, I get a lot of performance anxiety, so just being able to get through a gig without um, feeling like my throat's going to close over is yeah. probably one good thing. And that was actually a really great gig. Um, and supporting the Audrey's was amazing because I really loved them when I was in high school. And it was this, this beautiful venue. I don't know if you've been to Bundy Hall, but you should definitely go to any gigs that you see there because it's a great venue. Um, the sound is spectacular. The team is amazing. And um, just being able to support the Audrey's to a sold-out hall um, with an amazing sound system with a friendly home crowd was a massive highlight, yeah. And you're looking towards, because a lot of halls are starting to take off all around Australia yeah. right now. This seems to be a bit of a network. Is that something um, you consider yeah, sort of looking into? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think that really suits us, because we're not a huge, I really prefer kind of intimate venues where you can get a little bit of, um, you can kind of get to know your audience a little bit. We're quite intimate here tonight. Yeah, really <laughs> intimate, it's great. We're sold out at 16. <laughs> <laughs> and it was free. <laughs> <laughs> So that's some pretty good stuff. It's better than being not sold out <laughs> <laughs> and free. <laughs> now, we're halfway through a bit of a story now. Can you... Because I don't want you to just go back in and leave... Where, where are we in the story right now? Oh, we're still sad. 
What, what, is, what is the story you're telling the music, us? Are you talking about the musical story? Yeah, the, the music you're telling us. Oh, I just, there were four songs that I really wanted to play and I just tried to put them together in the right order that made narrative sense. Yes. <laughs> um, so... Uh, Are you allowed to talk about it? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes songwriters don't like talking uh, well, about I what they're writing that, about. Yeah. I, I thought I'd just try it on you. <laughs> I think all the different... Every song is written about something slightly different, so yep. it's not about one thing. Okay. Um, so they're all... The next one's just about... Uh, the next one's called Belly of the Beast and it's about... Um, I don't know if you've ever had that experience where you have a really great connection with someone and you thought there was going to be some potential and it never quite worked out, but they're all still kind of like, there's still something there, but the paths keep going the, the wrong way. Every time I do the groceries, Jade. Every time I do the groceries. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're a Dr. G. Good, it's my surname, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't say Dr. G. Oh, no, I thought you were saying because of my Facebook, my Facebook name. No, no, oh, you are, a, you are yeah, a legitimate I'm a doctor. doctor. Yeah, yeah. So we have any problems tonight? You're safe, yeah, yeah. in the safe hands. Have you been... Yeah, I am. I just... I <laughs> oh, you, Mel needs a doctor. She oh, had an accident with her me. arms, yeah. Oh, look, you know, it's, it's OK, though. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, Good that thing. That's awful. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that you didn't know that I was a doctor. No, no, I didn't you know that at all. You found out a few minutes ago. Oh, yeah, you were just... Yeah, one I, minute, you're just te yeah. testing my pulse and I'm thinking, this is awkward. <laughs> But yeah. I was at your surgery at the time, so I should have expected that. <laughs> have we been hearing from people online <laughs> at all, Mel? Sorry, I just, I've watched one too many very, very bad films. Uh, I was just thinking about other things that they're doing, Dr. Surgery. Cough. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brought with danger. Yes. Uh, actually, we've, we've, got, we've had some messages uh, all about the show. Yep. Um, the first one is from a, a very big supporter of ours, Anya. Um, and she, the, what she likes about uh, Live at Spectrum is that, that it's Australian um, and it's based in Gippsland and the best live music show streaming online. So, you know, that's pretty cool because we think it is too. Yeah. I mean, we don't like to blow our own trumpet, but if I had one right now, I so You'd would. Blow. You are a trumpeter <laughs> too, yeah. That's true. Yeah, with, yeah, okay, you want me to dress up stupidly in double yeah. denim. I want you to bring your trumpet to the grand finale. What am I going to do with it? Play the national. <laughs> yeah, you can't use it. Well. Just get a trombone for you. Yeah. Uh, that might be better. Not really, okay. no. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, look, the Tippet kids have um, been a bit vocal tonight. So right. Mike, Mike has uh, written in and said, uh, I love your show. It's grouse. So he's, um, he's up with the lingo. Freddie, Freddie said he loved watching the Jack Jones uh, performance at, the last, uh, at last year's finale. And I did too, very mm. much so. Uh, whew. Goosebumps. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Ethan's favourite moment was when Glover got his beard back. And I have to say, <laughs> I'm with I was with thinking him. about shaving it off, actually, during no. the week, and I saw that clip again. No, you do that yeah. and it's over. I'm okay, sorry. Well, you, it is over. So. <laughs> That's the thing. After the next month, I get to shave my beard off. What do you reckon? It's very <laughs> striking. I would keep it. If I could grow a beard like that. <laughs> yeah. I totally one, can. Cool. I totally yeah. can, but I, I get rid of mine. Yeah. There was one something different in the music industry, so that would no. be quite cool. Now, we've got a couple of famous MAFRA people on the show. Tonight. Michael War, um, who we're oh, going awesome. to be talking to on the phone later on, he's been doing great things, uh, travelling around playing music. I don't know if you've ever come across Michael. And Brett Tibbet. I know. Our, our, you went to school with him. I did. He gave me a couple of guitar lessons when I was in year seven, I think. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> what did he teach you? Uh, I don't, can't remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wasn't a very good student, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's fantastic. Hey, we're going to let you get straight back into the music and we, we love right. having you here tonight. A couple more songs and we're yeah. on the way. I saw someone on your social media page says, um, you've been advised that you have to play happier songs. <laughs> who said that? Gosh, it who was said on your, that? It was on your about blurb. You wrote it. Oh, yeah, like that. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant someone had commented no, no, on no, it. No, 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 comment, no, no. <laughs> um, what just... A lot of um, producers, when you're writing for other people, yes. they want, everything's got to be super upbeat and it's just kind of the trend at the moment in a lot of the music industry, in, particularly in pop music, is mm. that everything has to be really upbeat and happy and excessively positive. But just... Uh, that's, that's not really life. <laughs> I mean, it's, you've, got to be, you've got to be positive about things, but you're still allowed to feel... Still allowed to feel things, yeah. and just because something's just because something's not wildly positive doesn't mean it's a bad experience. Mm. I like that. Yeah. That's a really good way of looking at things. We're going to let you uh, set up and take us to the other side yeah. now and see where this uh, story ends up. Please welcome back to Live at Spectrum, Jade Empress. Never 
This one's called Empty Churches and it's just about when you realise that it was actually the other person that put their faith in all the wrong things and you're too awesome for them anyway. So this is just um, about, it's, it's kind of a, it's a, a song where you're really happy that you broke up. <laughs> Strayed, you left and 
search of gold and easy face oh, 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 you chose the lies I couldn't see you chose broken altars and chased Old rumors we danced out of sync as you followed curses into empty churches. Empty, empty, empty churches. Empty, empty, empty churches. Lock your eyes to mine, enjoy the trance Just reach out your arms and take your second chance I know how hard it is to break the spell You found somewhere to hide, but you lost yourself Oh Churches, empty, empty, empty churches. Stop, look back, find your senses. I'm long gone, off on new adventures. I hope the uh, audience enjoy the emotional roller coaster and you at home as well. How can we catch up with your music, Jay? Um, well, probably social media, so Instagram and Facebook yep. is the best place to go. Um, we're recording an EP later this year, probably, and um, over the next few months. So if you want to keep up with that, plus all our gigs, either Facebook, we're just at Jade Empress, and Instagram, we're at Jade Empress Official. So we'd love to hear from you and have your interactions. And I'm sure that people would be loving to hear you live as well. Thank you so much for coming in Thanks tonight, so guys. Another us. round of applause. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> ah, Mel Pollard. It's a funny sort of a night, isn't it? It's the last time we're going to be in here doing this. I'll see you, guys. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thanks very much. George, man. oh, man. Yeah. Oh, God, we're going to miss you. <laughs> Mel. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's a first. I know. That's uh, yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> awkward. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, um, it is definitely one of those nights where I don't know. I'm feeling a touch emotional about it. Yeah. But I'll I'll have a bit of a cry later. I promise I won't do it here. Will ya? Nah. Never seen you cry before. You're you're a hard nut. Hey, good to hear hard nuts. You are a hard nut because you've you've have broken your wrists or sprained them or. Oh, I've done all while sorts of weird stuff the, in there. Yeah. Right, but yeah, you've don't actually, pole dance, you've kids. started playing. It. <laughs> you've started playing again. I. Uh, what was that? Sorry. You're getting something in your ear, are you? Yes, I have got something in my ear. I think it's a worm. So no. <laughs> But you have been playing again. Am I not allowed to mention this? Is okay. This... <laughs> Actually, I think I think um, I was just going to say that. Uh, yeah, it's. I've got no idea. Anyway, I think Michael War is actually on the line ready to go. <laughs> okay, so fine. let's have no a chat. We'll find him out there. Yeah, uh, sorry. We'll get the doctor back. We'll sort that out yeah. later. A great friend of the show over the last four years has been Michael War. Uh, we were going to have him in the studio tonight, but he is very busy on the uh, campaign trail. Uh, please welcome on the line, Michael War. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Mate, I'm great. I'm great, great, great to hear your voice. We know the technology works. How are you? Yeah, really good. But I'm, I'm devastated that I couldn't be there to be with all of you guys on your second last show because uh, Life of Spectrum has been a very important part of, um, of my journey through music. And yeah, I think you guys have done a fantastic job. So, yeah, congratulations on everything. Mate, we love having you in. And um, look, it's just great to, be, to have, at least catch up with you on the phone. Where are you in Australia at the minute? Well, I've literally just arrived back in Melbourne, so we've just spent a week through New South Wales and Queensland. Um, this morning I had um, I was on national radio up in Bundaberg and then flew back um, and just about to head off on Cruising Country, which is a big music festival on a boat, which is slightly terrifying because I get seasick. All <laughs> right. Uh, so are you with a label or something? You're flying yourself all around Australia. You're doing this all off your own back still, Michael? Uh, it's still independent, but I'm with Compass Brothers Records now, which is uh, distributed through BMI. So um, it's been a really exciting journey uh, for the music now, and, and it's reaching a much large point. So I'm still telling stories about Gippsland. I'm still telling stories about Mafra and Hayfield and... At the valley, and it's just been good for more people now, which is fantastic. Hey, mate, and even Sea Spray gets a message on the new album. It's called The Weir. Uh, can you yeah. tell us a bit about that song, Sea Spray? What was that all about? Uh, well, as as people would know, Sea Spray is a town of about 220 people and four and a half million mosquitoes. So it's a story about um, summer loving and uh, air regard. <laughs> the two go very well together. Now, uh, you had your launch recently in the Mafra Memorial Hall, which is a fitting venue. Uh, you're surrounded by family and friends there? Yeah, and uh, and Brett Tippett was there doing sound for us, which made everything all that much nicer. Uh, and uh, we, yeah, we just uh, loved it. My mum was down the front, which is fantastic. She wasn't able to make it to Melbourne for the, the city launch. Uh, but um, Sue Wilson, who is such a fantastic woman in that area, I, look, I initially just called her up to say, where would be a good place to do the launch? And she stage managed everything just magically and um, and, and organised for David, who was in charge of the Memorial Hall. They, they donated the hall for us to be able to do the launch in, and Sue's mum, Maureen, went and got mum and brought her down so that she could be a part of the show, which was fantastic. And that hall just holds so many memories for me. It's the place where I graduated. The graduation ceremony was there. We had, uh, you know, a debutante ball. I partnered uh, Carol Fitzpatrick at the debutante ball there and played Will in the uh, Mafra Dramatic Society production of Oklahoma there as well. Great memory too, mate. And you're actually still teaching yourself in the in the drama sector at school. You've got our uh, school back on tomorrow. How are you how are you managing being a, a rock star on the holidays? Um, well, I think the thing is that teaching is something that I love, and and music is something that I love, and teaching is something that pays the bills. So. You're a very lucky boy, we're, and we're lucky to know that you are out there doing it as well. Now, you're very famous, of course, for wearing your red and black checked flannelette shirts. Have you thought about it, putting that as part of your merch yet? Well, there is talk of um, of the, the people who've been rocking up to the gigs wearing red and black checked shirts, as, uh, calling them, uh, well, 
you know, the people who followed the Grateful Dead around were called deadheads. So they talked that maybe we should call them the warheads. <laughs> yeah. Warheads, remember those? You know, the, 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 the lollies used to suck on. They tasted awful on the outside, <laughs> uh, good on the inside. <laughs> right? Those are the ones. <laughs> hey, mate, when can we see you down our way next? Uh, we've actually got shows booked up through to the end of the year now. It's just going around different parts of Australia. I haven't got plans to come back to Gippsland until probably next year, but but I always love coming home because uh, I love playing these songs which are about the area to people from the area. And, uh, yeah, so I, I hope to get back there soon. Great, mate. We're going to show you a new clip. It's for a song called Big Things. Could I get you to introduce it for us? Sure. You're watching live at Spectrum, and this is Michael War with the new single, Big Things. The uh, new single, Big Things, from Michael Wars, new album, The Weir. It's really doing great things and he's working really hard, but as you hear uh, from that last conversation, he loves what he's doing and we, uh, we can't wait to see him back on the show again soon. Uh, Mel, there was a lot of interest in, in Jade's last performance too on the show. Uh, yeah, actually, we had a few people uh, write in, but just before we get into that, what a beautiful clip. 
Oh, yeah. I really love Michael's videos. Like, really well yeah. shot, yeah. yeah, yeah Money has been spent, but it uh, it's, it's the storytelling. I think yeah. we're up the back then and uh, Pete on camera one was saying, I just love the way he tells stories. Yeah. And, it's, and, and if you're from Gippsland, it's about all these places that you know. So, well worth. Get it now at all good CD stores. Wherever they are, where are the CD stores? <laughs> I Real do. Close. Do. Look online for Michael <laughs> or I'm sure he'll be able to send you something, maybe even signed, Michael. Yeah, sorry, but it was what we're yeah, saying. Jade, uh, Jade Empress performance earlier in the show. Yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah. So I especially loved that last song and the way it built. It was just beautiful. Really, really loved it. Yeah. Um, and, in fact, that's what Erica said too. Just beautiful. Wow. I must have read that earlier. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Stole it. Um, Lucy Jade rocked it. Beautiful. I, I believe that too. Um, Philip's also written in to say, sorry to hear this is our second last show. Um, you've been an awesome voice for local music. So thank you, Philip. And um, we can't agree with you more. <laughs> yeah, we're awesome. No, look, it, it is the final monthly episode. I'm sure we'll do something because we're all good mates and we love the music scene. We're going to be doing it for the rest of our lives, so I'm sure every now and then we'll get together and we'll, we'll cover a story or cover a gig or something. But doing it once a month uh, for over four years, oh, we've, we've got other things and other passions we want to follow now in our own music careers as well. I think that's what the reason we're doing it. I don't really know why we're stopping to tell the truth. We're having such a great time. Anyway, audience, are you ready for some funky live music? Yeah. In the Spectrum Studios, I bet you are. Please welcome to Live Spectrum, Baby in the Kicks. Yeah. I woke up dead today. And that look gave an old way. You've been out drinking. You better take it easy. Take it easy Babe, I didn't know One or two don't seem so long ago And I've been drinking all night long You know what my baby said She said, boy, boy, boy One of these days We're gonna wake up
folks. Feels nice to be here. Thanks to Love at Spectrum for having us tonight. Um, it's really good. This next song's uh, called Dead Love. Sorry. This next song's called Dead Love, um, and it's about it's a song written about someone who's very close to us um, that we lost much too early. soul in this band, ladies and gentlemen. Feeling heightened. I think my friend David's about to come out. They're going to let the drummer speak. It's brought with danger. David Williams, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, uh... <laughs> Scary notes. Uh, <laughs> sure. We went through some notes together tonight. Now, be yeah. nice tonight. Your mum and your sister are in the audience. They are. It's very nice. <laughs> I'm very lucky. <laughs> Where's Dad? Yeah! 
He's Where is he's hungover. What? Oh, is that what yeah. happened? You said Dad couldn't come tonight, yeah. and I asked why, and he said you couldn't yeah. tell me. Well, if I if I lag him out here, he'll see at home. Dad had a few too many playing <laughs> last night. <laughs> yeah, Dave, your name has come up on this show quite a few times. I don't know if you know. There's two David Williams in Gippsland that we know of involved in music, but David Williams, the music teacher in uh, Maui. Oh, I don't you know. I don't know him. Oh well, there's, and there's you. Yeah. And you can go with the tone of the story. You yeah. pretty much can work out which David Williams they're talking about. Right. <laughs> You're a bit of a party animal, right? I like. I like to party. <laughs> <laughs> He does like to party. You like to party, Brad? I, I love to party. Parties, yeah. are, parties are fun. There's are. different levels of partying. <laughs> we may be on different levels. Do you think? I don't know. Let's, don't let's know. try it later tonight. We can party together, <laughs> After yeah. the show, let's party together and see what that yeah. entails. Now, the first time I met you was when you were involved uh, with the Bansdale Secondary Music yes. Program. Yep. And I, I always knew you as a guitarist. Oh, yes. Oh, that's my primary instrument, I suppose. But... Nowadays, it's mostly these things. And you're loving yeah. the drums, aren't you? No, it's good fun. It is. You get to let it out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How important was it having a music program at the Bansdale Secondary College? Because they've, the, they've got a really established, yeah. very supportive, and a big music program yeah. there. Um, phenomenal. Like, if, if I didn't have that program at that school, I wouldn't be half the musician that I am now. Mm. I'd credit most of my musical ability to my time you know, in the music centre there, um, under Jerry and the team. Mm. And, yeah, it's, it's an amazing program and the support for the kids there and what they do is... So many good Second musicians. to none. Like, it's, it's comparable to some of the, I don't know, some of the higher echelon private schools in Melbourne. That's how good, that's mm. how good the education was there. So, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. And so lucky to have these guys to be able to do that. Yeah. Now, this has brought you to here tonight. You with Baby and the Kicks. And yes. You introduced some of the guys in the band here. Well, I can. Uh, lead vocals, Declan Skinner. Hey, Declan! And guitar. <laughs> on bass, on bass, Michael Bradbourne. <laughs> and on guitar, lead guitar, Matt Parlin. Yeah. <laughs> Michael yeah. and Matt, the band is tight. Uh, it sounds like you guys have been playing together for many years. Yeah, it's been not, not many years. 18 months. And you've joined recently, right? Yeah. 18 months ago. 18 months ago. <laughs> these guys, but these guys played before that as well? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Declan and, and Michael. And then yeah. Dave. Yeah. So they have Declan. <laughs> Why did you let Dave in the band? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we, we're friends. It's all right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you are happy on the drums then? There, was, there was no other drummers. <laughs> no other drummers <laughs> available. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> So you, have you guys been coming to Gippsland and playing? Because you're the Gippsland connection in this band. Have you... Yeah, we have. We've done, a, we've done a few gigs recently up in the snow over the winter season. Mm. Uh, we did the Bright Dark Beer Fest, but that's not really... They're not Gippsland, are they? Bright? Oh, it's sort of it's not Gippsland, Gippsland upper. <laughs> well, and even Hoffman's not Gippsland. Well, I'll put it in the Gippsland gig guide. <sighs> and you can, uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 I don't know, I think it's Gippsland right. either. And then we've done, <laughs> we've done a, a couple of other little things. We did Snap Alley yeah. at one point. Um, How was that yeah. place going? The guy was going all right. The Snap Alley sort of started it was, up. And it was going all right. I think they've wrapped up it's now. It's defunct, yeah. Yeah, what sort of, like, that's a great opportunity for... It was. It was really good. Um, yeah, it was a really good space for people to put on their own shows. or um, And I think that's a bit lacklustre in, um, well, Bansdale for one, but in, in the country towns around this area, we need more of that, um, more venues for us to go and, you know do our thing well, and wait. so that the community can cop some of it as well. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Because mm. music, as you know, brings people together. But your, your area, Bansdale, Painesville, Bruthen yeah. even, that, yeah. there's some great places to play music there. And it seems to be really yeah. um, well established. Like yeah. you've been involved with some of these festivals. Yeah, there, the Painesville Music Festival is awesome. I love Bruthen Blues. It's one yeah. of my little favourites. I like to party there, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's where I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good times. You, you, you're going to get this band down here more often because it's... Well, I think we should. The boys are a bit scared of travel, you know, but... Because we know. <laughs> <laughs> it's only two hours. It's no, not no, bad. No, they're, all, they're good. They're up for it, for sure. Yeah, because there's, like, so many places to play around Melbourne. You're obviously playing there a lot. Yeah, we do a lot. And we'd like... Lot. How do you think we can get things going down here in, in Gippsland? Because we have... A, we've, we've, here we are, episode 33. You can invite us to the finale. Oh, next week. We don't yeah, have a band next, for next, next week, week, so... Next That's week. Good. Yeah. Oh, next, next month, month. Yeah, sorry, I keep saying month. next week. Next it's month. next week if you're on Channel 31 right now. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> well, it depends how you want to get right now, Dave. I <laughs> uh, would love you to come to that, though, and just um, to party with us. Yeah, I'll come party at the finale. That'd be good. <laughs> Now, um, where's, your, where's your next gig come up for Baby and the Kicks? Around um, Melbourne Town? Yeah, we are supporting... Uh, yeah, Mousy, a, a girl from coming over from New Zealand. Yep. So we're doing a support for her and then... Whereabouts? Where's the great venues to play around Melbourne Where at the minute? Where is it? At the Retreat, at the Retreat Hotel. November the 8th. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. November the 8th. We'll get on your website for that as well. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram. That's no where we're at. You should hear this guy play a guitar, by the way. He's nuts good. <laughs> Now, I was going to ask you, because Don Burrows, the great jazz musician, was living in your area for a time. He was. And he took you a little bit under the wing too and uh, got yeah. you in for a few little lessons. It was very daunting. But, yes. Um, he can be a bit hard on the students sometimes. And I think he saw talent in tears. you. Shed a few tears. I think shed he saw talent in you and he might have drilled you pretty mm. hard. Yep. Yeah, what was that experience like with John? Uh, pretty surreal. Yeah. Um, I don't think you get opportunities like that very often. Mm. Um, and to have him in the area... And not not for just me, but for the kids at Bands of Sanctuary yeah. and, and other schools in the area as yeah. well. To have him um, as a mentor and someone of that, you know, that stature. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And he loved getting involved with that community. Like loved even, it. Even joined uh, the brass band. He, yeah. He always wanted to be a Amazing. Like, tuba player. Yeah, took on the tuba and yeah. played it freakier than anyone that yeah. could be. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, it's... Yeah. Amazing Pretty area special. for music there in East Gippsland. I'm mm. gonna let you get back on the drums. We're going back. And take us out with Baby and the Kicks. Yeah. Do you want to introduce Sweet the next man. song for us? You have to look at your list. Can oh, I? Can I butt yeah. in first? Actually, I want to know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dirty Dave. What's that all about? Dirty oh, Dave. Oh, that's Black. That's Black Sadler. <laughs> I know who that is. Um, we had a band called the Dirty Souls for a while. It was a trio. And Blake has played here. Dirty. He yeah. Very good guitarist. Freak. So, freaky guitar. Thanks, Blake. Good. What, are the other, what are some of the other musos in your area you played with over the years? Uh, Nick, you Nick Fisher, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, we've played with him a fair bit. Electric Yeti. Um, I mean, yeah, we've awesome. had an Electric Yeti. How he, good is he it? was in here. It's How good. good it? Does it all on his own. I know. Yeah. That's what you got to do. You see, you, you, Only you, Nick could create that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, yeah, back in the day, um, Billy Abbott, when he was living down there, um, Gary Gatter mm. from, from W Tree, Eva Grundon, played with them a lot and... Yeah. W tree. I love w that name of that town. Because there is a tree shaped as W. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, I've asked. I haven't you know. seen the tree. Yeah, we'll go looking for it. Yeah. There's a whole alphabet out there. I'm going to let you get back on the drums there, Dave. <laughs> we'll see the Z tree. <laughs> <laughs> as Dave gets back on the drums, I'm going to get to the audience just to go nuts. And please welcome back. Do hey, you want me is, to tell you the Who is Baby in the Kicks? Who's Baby? Skinner's is the baby. <laughs> You're not baby. <laughs> Look baby's, at his face. Baby's in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the corner, yeah. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. Let's get him out of here again. What did you want to say? Something else? No, nah, it's cool. Okay, let's go the trust. Please welcome back baby the kids. <laughs> Oh, we are the 
Don't do it too hard. <laughs> oh wow, baby kicks. This is uh, this is it. The uh, last studio episode of Live at Spectrum here at Trelgan Studios. Uh, four years. Um, we've all had a really great time, I and mean, we will be saying lots of things next month when we're at the uh, West Gippsland Arts Centre for our grand finale. And when we say grand finale, it's not grand finale for the year, it's grand finale for all time of Live at Spectrum. So there's 200 seats for that. Um, we'd love you to get involved. The seats are free, so if you're in the area or if you'd, if you'd prefer to travel for it, uh, Mum and Dad, I know you're saying, come on, it's time to come and support your boy. Uh, come down the West Gippsland Arts Centre, November the 3rd. What are we going to do? Because we don't have a band book. Do we hear from any bands tonight? Oh, look, I said I was I was willing to play, but... You uh, can't play. You're crickets. broken your wrists. Oh, I don't know. I was, I think it Isn't maybe somebody the, maybe else playing triangle? guitar for you at the minute yes. while you sing? Yes, that's, that's correct. That's, that's guitar playing. On. Yes, that's very, very, very bad. Well, I'd like yeah. to see you play again. Um, <laughs> if you've got a band, uh, please <laughs> just, just get in contact because it's going to be huge. 200 full audience at West Gippsland Arts Centre. We've done it uh, three other times before, these grand finales, and they're always a uh, big episode. So please get involved in that. Uh, the audience tonight, you've been fantastic. Give yourselves a round of applause. Uh, we say thank you to the Tippett family for having us at the house over the last four years, and we'll see you next episode on Live at Spectrum. Good night! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.